My name is Mark Cranston, I'm a servant police officer and uh, I collect bricks. I happened to be looking for a brick to hold the shed door open one day. Uh, you had six in the garage, went into the garage, found the six and noticed that all six names on the bricks were different. Natural curiosity, I looked up one name and that was me hooked. You would think it was just a, a name and a brick, but it was um, once you look into the history behind the, 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 the guy that was making the bricks, who owned coal mines, who was instrumental in um, building villages for his workers, schools, you know, the, the, the whole shebang. And it just spiralled off there. I mean, it's just huge where it leads. And it was a niche. It was, a, it was something that I suppose I thought, well, nobody else is really doing it, so maybe I can, you know, maybe go somewhere with this. What I did realise right from the start was that there wasn't a national brick collection. Um, the National Museum had 350 bricks on their books, basically. So trying to find out information was it wasn't easy. The brick mark itself can be the name of the area where the bricks were made, the brickworks itself. It can be the maker's name the actual stamp in the brick. So it could be round-ended or square-ended. There might be variations in how the name appears. Some of the bricks are, have thumbprints on them, fingerprints, boot prints on them, uh, animal prints on them. But yeah, they're all different. Well, virtually I've never thrown a brick away yet, so... Uh, yeah, so I've got piles around the back of the shed as well, but um, we're up about 2,500 now. I'll be out two or three times a month uh, anywhere in Scotland so just a case of looking through the undergrowth turning everything over that you see because you, even in a, a derelict building that's maybe been knocked down you can turn over a hundred bricks that are all the same and then the hundred and first is uh, something you haven't got you know I've been known to do a little jig on the beach just all by myself finding one <laughs> hunter gatherer for bricks I don't know, it is a thrill. I mean, it's a passion to do it, so, you know, to find something that you haven't got in your collection is great. You know, whether it's stamps, folk collecting pottery, or, or you know, whatever, paintings, they, they always look for that, that one that they haven't gotten when they find it. Yeah, it's, it's great. Train them is my car